that to my channel so as you can see i'm back hi um i hope everyone is well i hope you're all okay and i hope you can hear uh, this video i've had a few problems with my phone um my phone's really old and it's been dropped a number of times so um yeah so i'm hopefully you can hear um <clears throat> so uh this is going to be a tesco's haul but before i get on with my tesco's haul and show you all what i've got um i just want to say that i have been away from um youtube for a little while um i was kind of just um I don't know, just letting all the uh, negative um, comments get to me and it got to a point where I was afraid to look at the comments because it just seemed to be nasty comment after nasty comment after nasty comment and instead of just ignoring it and just be like, oh, fuck you kind of thing, you know. Um, you know, it just I, I was getting really anxious to the point where I thought, oh no, what, who's commented now, you know, and it was just like a, a really arsy comment all the time and I just got a bit fed up with it and um, like, um, but you guys have been so wonderful, honestly, there's been so many, so many of you that has um, like um, messaged me, you know, that I haven't heard from in a long time and uh, that I haven't, yeah, that I haven't heard f from you guys for a long time and uh, you were generally worried about me and you know and and you were saying about you know like future musician um a friend of mine on here and danny and um just oh so many of you you know i've got so many you know sorry leaving you know anybody out but um <clears throat> you know you were worried about you know um and asking me please come back on youtube and don't listen to anybody you know um there's just so many of you, you know, that I need to thank, um, you know, Gemma, Susan, Sharon, you know, all of you, you know, that I'm sorry if I haven't mentioned you, but, um, thank you for the love, thank you for, you know, um, yeah, and you asked me to come back and don't listen to any negative comments, um, I think it just, like, took its toll and I think, um, I just, I don't know, I was losing interest. It was making me feel like, well, what's the point of, like, going on YouTube anymore, you know? So, um, but, uh, but I'm back now. I'm back. Um, and, uh, I've got some more stuff to show you. This is just the other half of my Tesco's haul. Um, so I'm back to work now. Um, I went back a bit early um it turned out so I had all in all five weeks off um with sick notes i had I was off for five weeks for uh sick and then last week um was my holiday, but I ended up going back um a day early and uh it turned out I was still on holiday so um so I ended up going back last Tuesday when I was meant to be off and uh so last Friday was my official um, day back. Um, so you guys know where I work and what I do. And um, so even with um, uh, with the doctor's notes, I'm currently at 19.9% um, of uh, absence. And they said to me that if um, when I'm not at work, I'm not meeting the terms and conditions. I'm not there to feel, you know, fulfill, um, you know. And I need to be there to do my shifts and, you know, and they're a company. I'm, I'm letting the company down, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I had a meeting that was on Friday and I have another meeting this Friday um, with the store manager and... Um, to find my find out my fate you know um i've got i've never took a union rep in with me and i know that i should but every time when i try to uh have a union rep there's never one around and so um this time there is and they've offered to come in and support me so i'm having a union rep this time and i'm just i'm just going to be honest um it's just because of my mental health i i adapt well and I work better in shorter shifts. I, you know, 
like a four hour shift then i would say a nine hour shift um if i don't get a proper sleep the night the, the night before you know because i'm getting to bed late you know for whatever reason um i can't function the, the day properly you know i'd rather i I prefer to do later shifts you know few people moan that they have to stay till midnight but i'd love to you know stay later um i work well with shorter shifts and i work well with later shifts then i do with longer shifts and early shifts i don't know it's very hard to explain and you know but um my manager said she's gonna we can work around that and so see what we can do so fingers crossed um yeah so um just so i'm back at work and it seems to be going okay um so yeah so i just think i'd just let um i don't know stuff get on top of me really and you know and uh but i've now put a lot of negative stuff and a lot of negative people out of my life now um obviously you know i'm a good friend to people and um you know and some people probably would disagree but um you know it's one good it's one thing being a really good friend and you know helping your friends and helping people but where i i wear my heart on my sleeve i'm a very sensitive person I tend to kind of take people's problems on board to the point where they sort their problems out. It's okay, you know, and they're fine, but it's still affecting me, you know, um, because I'm so close to them and I care about them that, you know, what they do, what they say, you know, um, and if I say anything, it just falls on deaf ears. I've got to the point where with some friends I've tried to help and there's literally nothing I can do anymore. You know, I'm in that situation. Well, what do I say? What do I do? And I'm taking on people's problems so much that I'm making it my problem and it's just bringing me down, you know, not that I'm not being a good friend and I would be there for like for people, but, um, you know, when you really try to help people and they just don't listen, basically. So, um, and it's really kind of affected me. So, um, so I just came to the point in my life where I thought, you know what, fuck it. I need to just move on and just put that out of my life, you know, because I can't make it my life. And just, um, so yeah, I was just, um, and a lot of people like, you know, um, one of my good friends who I'm, um, she's been absolutely bloody amazing. One of my friends, Julia, and who we met on YouTube and we message each other every day. She's just been an absolute rock, honestly. And, um, she is just one of my best friends and, um, she, she's always got my back and she says, you know, straighten that crown, she says, you know, it may slip, but yeah, and she's been, you know, she's been absolutely amazing, honestly, she really has, really amazing, she's a bloody good friend, and, uh, you know, and uh, she said, you know, you've got your own problems to deal with, you know, think about you, you know, and a lot of people have said that, I think I was just kind of losing myself a little bit, you know, yeah, mm. On a, a positive note, um, one of my other friends, who I've known for thirty odd years, one of my friends, uh, Kirsty, um, she's three years younger than I am, so I'm forty three this year. She hits her big four zero this year, and um, I've known her since she was five years old, and we go through, we lose touch and everything, and sometimes, you know, just life. But we got um, we got back in touch, and we're meeting each other. Um, next monday um so i'm really really looking forward to that i can't wait to you know and she's really looking forward to seeing me you know and um you know and she's out of all my friends you know i love all my friends um she's the one i've known longest you know and i'm really looking forward to seeing her so i just thought i'd share that with you but um i am in a much better positive place um i found ways around to deal with my anxiety and depression and um and mental health 
I'm bettering myself and uh, taking the odd walk and that, you know, and just, just thinking of concentrating on me and just had a little break from YouTube and just putting negative shit out of my life, you know. But just to let you know that I am okay. I'm, I'm all good, yeah. And I am generally sorry, honestly. I'm generally sorry if I, if I worried anybody, you know. Um, you know, I was just in that state, like, you know, oh, sod YouTube, I'm never coming back again, you know. Um, but, uh, yeah, but I'm back. Mm. So I'm going to shut up rambling now. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to carry on with the rest of my uh, Tesco shopping haul. And one of my friends, Hayley, um, again, one of my best, best friends. And she's, you know, oh, she's an absolute diamond. And I met her through uh, Becky, through Becky's Crafts and Goodies. And me and Hayley become really good friends. And um, she sent me some prezzies today. She didn't tell me. And, um, like, and it was just a really lovely surprise. So I'll include that in the video. Um, yeah, so I will show you what she bought me. And they're just really, really lovely. Really lovely. So, okay, so... On with the Tesco's haul, guys. Mwah. So let me talk you through um, my Tesco's haul. So first thing I picked up was two packets of the root vegetable crisps. Two of those. I like those. They're really nice. And then a bag of giant cheesy watsits. Another one of my favourites. Then two lots of... Uh, prawns i'm gonna make a curry in a minute so these are the chili and lime prawns i've got the meat free sausages these are bloody lovely i like these so the meat free sausages and i picked up the barbecue ones i haven't tried the barbecue ones so i thought give them um give them a try got some bickies there some chocolate biscuits some more chocolate biscuits there Got some all butter um, shortbread biscuits. I thought I'd get biscuits instead of chocolate this time. Got some Jaffa cakes, some Jaffa cakes there. Some rice. I've got some rice, but I just wanted to get some more to stock up. I've got some bolognese. I've still got meatballs if I want to do meatballs and sauce. And then a chicken tikka masala, which I'm going to be doing in a moment but with um with prawns got some johnson's uh, baby powder as well right so the next things i picked up i picked up uh, three lots of magazines one bella um never picked this up before but uh picked this up and how much was that that was about two pounds something i think yeah, two twenty five that was. Then I picked up Woman's Own magazine, that was two twenty. And then the Woman magazine. And I think that was about two pounds as well actually. I can find the price on it. Where is it? Two twenty, yeah. And then I picked up a cheap um notepad, because uh, I can do my scrapbooking. I can just tear the pages out and, and what have you. That was a pound. Then I saw this scrapbook. I thought it was really lovely. It's got a ribbon on the front. And I'll show you inside in a moment. Scrapbook. And uh, this was £4. But down to three fifty in the club card deal. That's just... Um, so all different... Um, or where you can just scribble on there and just like all plain and put pictures in. And then right at the far back, you've got like a little pocket, two little pockets either side so you can put things in. So it's handy. I thought it was really lovely. You can just keep that and put photos in and write and scribble, whatever. And then I picked up a birthday card because it's a friend's birthday this month. So I got them a card. To a lovely friend, happy birthday. 
Swedes, you are a wonderful friend and you're wished a, a day full of fun and happiness. Enjoy your birthday. And then I picked up this pink t-shirt. This was £5. And I've got um, some pink shorts. So this will go really well with um, my pink shorts. That was a fiver. And then last but not least, for £10, and I picked up this um, pink uh, sweatshirt with the buttons, my collar. And um, it's got the little stag on the front, you can see. Now, um, I've got one in dark blue and I've got one in black. And they've got two new ones out. They've got a pink one. Um, and I, I like pink, it's my favourite colour. And I've got pink shorts, so this will go well with the pink shorts. And they've also got a light blue one out of these. So I might uh, next week go and treat myself to one. Why not? And this is what I wanted to show you. Um, one of my best friends, Hayley, she bought me, um, she just got me a little something. She got me this card just to say, it's really pretty, it's got all flowers and butterflies on. And then she bought this creative paper and oh my God, the colours of it. Let me just take you through it. I'll just show you. It's really lovely. Seems a shame to rip them, doesn't it? Like, but then the other colour, and then beautiful colours, isn't it? Then. Last but not least, that's the little book, and then she got me some washi tape. I love these. Look at the colours of them. When you got a glittery one there, so I'll be using that in my new scrapbook. And then last but not least, these are twelve glitter pencils. How glittery they are, aren't they? Glittery, 12 glittery glitter pencils. That's what my friend Hayley got me. How lovely. So thanks everyone for watching guys. I really hope you did enjoy the video. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, be sure to uh, click the like button. And um, yeah, if you did enjoy the video, I'm hoping you did. And drop me a message down below. And um, I always read everyone's messages and uh, and I'll always reply back to every single uh, message um, that's there. And <laughs> even the haters. Um, so yeah, have a great week guys. And uh, um, I'm not sure when I'll be back on here um, again. Because um, I normally sort of do my shopping either on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. You know, after work. And uh, because I... I had to go into work uh, just for about uh, about 45 minutes I was there for, just for a meeting. Um, they're just talking about uh, scanners you shop and uh, shrinkage and stuff, you know, and or, like things going missing, people stealing things and that. We just had to like learn up on, yeah, stuff. So I thought while I was there, you know, I thought I might as well get my shopping out of the way. And do it today so he's doing it after work tomorrow or wednesday um so i'm not quite sure when i'll be back on here again um probably be in the week if there's um i think i've got everything really i think i've got all meals and stuff so possibly next week be back on here mm. so have a great week guys and um yeah and uh, it's good to be back and take care guys and i'll see you in the next video guys i'll see you later thanks again for all your love and support thank you thanks so much appreciate it see you later guys bye